What's up, YouTube fam? So, as you guys know from the last video, back in action. Welcome to the media department here at Galfer USA. In this box, we got something way rad. Way, way rad. Let me show you. This here is sent from our good friends over at Fathead Racing. Lucas over there sent me this. Now you guys know, on the channel here, we've been using fat heads for some time. I've never been more excited to get one than this one. Now I'm not downplaying any of the ones I've had. They're still on the bikes, they're still doing great. But this, your boy got a prototype. This isn't just any prototype head. This thing, if you're a 500, a Kawasaki 500 owner, you're gonna want this. Now, before you start firing off your orders over there to Fathead Racing, check that out. London Max, this guy, and he also sent me a head for our CR125. He didn't even tell me that this thing was coming, and I'm stoked though because that CR125 that was just in a magazine. Well, an ad anyway in a magazine. Uh, that thing's gonna get a full up rebuilt and then put into our showroom here at Galfer along with the Yamasaki. But this guy's this. Why is this so cool? Well, got your decompress that you really need on 500s. Helps a lot. But the water neck. Some of you guys that own the 500s out there, or even if you don't own a 500 but you're interested in getting one, I'm sure all of you are interested in getting one, this water neck. It's clockable. And if you guys know, the stock fittings that come on the KX500s are fixed. You can't move them at all. And they are a pain in the butt to get the hose onto. Well, this one, you could just clock it. Has a little set screw up here, clock it, and you're set. Decomp, interchangeable domes. I think he sent me a, 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 like a race gas dome in this one. But dude, guys, I'm pumped. So, now that we're all pumped and stoked on our new parts going onto our bikes here. So sick. What is going on? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to Sturges. Now this is my first time, I'm leaving this Sunday. It's my first time ever going to a Sturges bike rally and I am not gonna be on a Harley. I'm gonna be on a KTM and we're gonna go see Mount Rushmore. We're gonna do a lot. Really cool vlog gonna be dropping from that. And if you guys didn't know, I'm gonna, or I am, I'm not gonna be doing, I am the guy over at Galfer now that does all the media. So all Galfer's videos, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, that's all your boy now. Uh, if you wanna see like just some more London X content, but it's not necessarily London X, it's Galfer, go over to the Galfer YouTube channel. Go subscribe guys. It is the stuff that I'm doing in between, actually my channel is in between, but it's the thing that I'm also doing on YouTube with Galfer and, and the Instagram as well, but go give us a follow. Uh, stay up to date with your boy. Uh, we do a lot of cool stuff over on the Galfer channel too, and uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And, uh, but yeah, guys, go into Sturges. Let me show you what I'm riding. Why, Bruce, watch out. All right, so no, we're not taking this. This is uh, like a 2004 WR450. It's undergoing some maintenance. And no, not taking, I think it's either 21 or 22. What the heck is this thing? I don't know, it's brand new CR300L. By the way, guys, I got some heat from you guys for riding the GPX bike, which is obviously a bike from China. Love China. People say, oh, you don't like China. No, I love but I'll have you guys know, you purists out there, you know I only ride good Honda, Japanese made. Let's just have a look here. Can you see that where it says made in Thailand, manufactured in Thailand by Honda? Yeah. Let's show you what I'm riding. Yeah. Yeah. The Repsol KTM. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I'm taking that to Sturgis. Let's, let's go. Look at all the carbon on this thing. 
Uh, look at these huge rotors on this thing. You probably can't even tell. Huge rotors. I wish I was taking that new T7. Nope. Be really, really sick to take either the 500. 125 would be painful out there trying to ride down the road, but nope. But I'm freaking going to Sturges. I mean, never been before. I'm really, really pumped too because that's like, I think if you're just a, a motorcyclist, if you're an, a motorcycle enthusiast, you know, you know about Sturges. You've heard about it. And even if you don't like Harleys, people ride every kind of bike there. They ride Groms there. They ride, you know, obviously Harleys, street bikes. They ride everything at Sturges. So literally guys, gonna be so sick going to Sturges on a KTM 300 or no why did I say 300 I think it's a 690 I think it's the Adventure 690 either way it's gonna be pretty fun and I'll be vlogging it for sure we're gonna ride that thing to Mount Rushmore and uh just get in all kinds of chaos on that thing it'll be fun and it is a windy day but thankfully we can see blue skies today there has been a fire that way towards uh Markleyville it's called and uh, well it's been very very smoky here of recently it feels really good actually to finally not have smoke everywhere but dude look at everywhere around here there's hill climbs places to go conquer there's Kings Canyon back there which is super rad that's somewhere I already took the 325 a couple times but yeah one thing that I'm trying to get adjusted though, too, it's hot here. Like it's, it's in the, what was it today? 85. Well, it's been hotter than that. Not being a baby, but it's been like 90, like solid 90s for several, several days. And it feels good to have a day in the 80s. But I tell you what, I don't do good with the heat. like. I honestly think my ideal climate would be somewhere it snows all the time. Now, don't mark my words on that because it gets when it gets winter here, we get we get some snow on the ground. Not like in the northeast or anything like that or northwest, but we get we get snow over here, which I think would be fun to ride in snow. I don't know. We'll see. So, what have we done? You already know. So we went and picked up the truck because you guys obviously clicked this video for a reason. That's right. This is the shop garage, whatever, or what was left of it, right? So uh, this is the bikes that are here. Uh, there are still four or five of them back in California at my buddy Robis's house, which I really appreciate him taking those tools, vapor hone, air compressor. I mean, it's all it's all in in here and. We are grabbing the RMZYZ. So we're gonna run it over to Fabricator, have them take a look at it. We need to get popping on this thing. The seat, riding season's coming. I wanna get this thing done. I want to get ready to rock and roll because uh, this bike's going to be so good. This bike's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. That's all I can say. This bike is going to be so good. All right, guys. So we're over in Mound House. We're at Mound House Powder Coating, but you just took it over, right? Both sides? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you are doing the fabricating over here, and then now you're going to be doing powder coating too? Yes, sir. Okay. So Thomas Precision Welding, um, he's going to be taking a look at this thing, guys. So. He has some ideas utilizing on uh, eBay, right? The CR500 conversion kits. So what we're thinking, guys, is I was just planning on taking out this Y piece and raising it up and, and utilizing that. But he thinks it actually be cleaner and just look a lot better too. functionality over everything. But uh, if we got that kit and just kind of fabricated into that. So I'm excited, man. This this thing is going to be a super, super light a little motocross weapon that yeah. go dragging the rocks out here. Heck yeah. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. So we're going to, I'm going to leave this thing with him while I'm at Sturges, guys. And we're going to put together an attack plan. 
but I'm, I'm, I'm so pumped right now, man. I, I can't thank you enough for taking me on such short notice too. I yeah. really appreciate it, but yeah, stoked. So way, way, way cool. Got the YZ RMZ. So now the comments are back open. I guess I'm done with YouTube jail, but the comments are back open downstairs in the doobly doo also in the description guys you can find that code to rocky mountain this channel i don't charge a thing this is free for you guys to watch one of the best ways that you can support the channel guys is to use that code in the description for rocky mountain atvmc go use that link go make your order enjoy your parts deck out your bike and just you using that link helps out the channel so much so i can keep doing this stuff guys so with that being said i really really appreciate you guys i am so pumped to drop off the rmz yz and i need your guys help down in the description pass that to the comments i need you guys to help come up with a name for this thing now rmz yz sounds all right but things like the yamasaki that's a name that just brings fear into those who dare challenge the likes of the of the yamasaki so we need a we need a name for our rmz yz conversion um i'm pumped i'm pumped if you guys can't tell i'm a little amped up right now i haven't had any energy drinks today this is organic usda prime energy so i'm gonna act on this and close down the video here guys i love every single one of you it's good to be back on youtube subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up to well speed with uh what's going on with the rmz yz that's going to be named something else but that's it for today guys love you guys talk to you soon peace out bye